the most hated individual in the world is a person that's disciplined. A person with tunnel vision. A person that can block anything or anybody that can potentially stop them from reaching a goal. And if you don't believe me, just look at the person that stayed consistent. The person that was in constant student mode to be better than what they were yesterday. But more importantly, the person with the results. Trust me, people hate those type of people. But overall, they are the most respected individuals to walk this planet. Trust me. Yo, 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 what up, YouTube? Welcome to CN Take, man. My name is Jay Sin. Coming back with another one, man. And as y'all can see, I'm coming live from the Rose Garden, man. Take a look at it. Take a look at it, man. We got another one, man. Since I'm out here, bro, y'all already know. I got a shout out to my brother and my ancestors and thank them for always looking out for me. I love y'all. I love y'all, man. But real quick, though, I wanted y'all to see that clip from B. McFly. You know what I'm saying? Because he always keep it 100. And at the end of the day, bro, it's true. You know what I mean? People can't stand people that got a level of focus like that. You know what I'm saying? That's disciplined like that. That got tunnel vision like that. That won't let nothing get in the way of what they have going. Some people just hate that shit. You know what I'm saying? So when they hate it, they gonna try to do any anything to throw a wrench in your plans. That's why you gotta keep that shit shut. You know what I'm saying? Keep that shit on the low, bruh. Don't be talking about all that shit, man, because you gonna have people around that's gonna try to do what they can to stop you. And the sad part is a lot of these motherfuckers be close to you too. You know what I'm saying? So that's why you should keep it to yourself, man, because listen, bro, you gotta understand, you probably the most hated motherfucker on this planet. You know what I mean? Because there's a lot of people that don't got your level of focus. And everything that you say you're going to do, you do it. You know, people hate people like that. You know what I'm saying? Because even then, when people try to throw a wrench in your plans, bro, it never work. Because you got that discipline. You got that tunnel vision. And, bro, you don't, you don't let shit stop you. You don't let nothing get in the way. And everything you say, you do. You know, you said you was going to start losing weight and going to the gym. What you do? You start losing weight, you started going to the gym. You said you was going to start eating, eating healthy. What you do? You really started doing that shit. You know what I'm saying? What you say? You was going to start a business. You really started doing that shit. You know what I'm saying? You said you was going back to school. You really started doing that. You know what I'm saying? Anything that you got planned out, anything that you say or put out there and you actually do, bro, people hate that shit. You know what I'm saying? Because they be like, man, damn. That motherfucker said he was going to do that shit. And to actually see you do it, bruh, see, that's something that a lot of people can't do. You know what I'm saying? You showing the type of focus that a lot of people don't have. So what they don't have, bro, most people going to hate. You know what I'm saying? Because you got it. If you got it and they can't get it, bro, they going to hate on you for it. They going to hate on you for it, man. And that's the crazy thing. It's like, man, bro, with a little hard work, anybody can get it. You know what I'm saying? With a little hard work, man, anybody can get it. If you're willing to do what it takes to get something and you really develop the, uh, a type of focus and tunnel vision and discipline to get it, you can get it. But most people don't want to do it. That's why they hate you. That's why they hate you for it because you actually saying what you do. You actually putting your words into action and people don't like it. You know what I'm saying? You really talk that talk and walk that walk. And most motherfuckers, they just do a lot of talking. So they hate it. They don't like that shit. You know what I mean? They don't have the discipline you have. They don't have the focus that you have. They don't have the tunnel vision that you have. But guess what, bro? At the end of the day, it's just like B. McFly said. They gonna respect you, though, no matter what. They can hate on you all they want. They could try to stop you all they want. They could throw a wrench in there all they want. That ain't gonna work. But guess what? They gonna respect you at the end of the day because either way, none of it's gonna work. You know what I'm saying? Because what's in God's plans, that cannot be stopped. What you focus on and what you really put your heart and energy in, that cannot be stopped. But people will try and they will fail miserably. And the more and more they fail, the more energy that they put in it. Listen, bro. The more they lose energy and the more that envy and hate grows. 
So you gotta be careful, bro. Because like I said, nine times out of 10, there's gonna be some motherfuckers that's close to you. So stop all that talking, bro. You know what I mean? Don't say it, dog. Just do it. Don't say it. Just do it. Because they already hating the fact that you pretty much calling your shots. You calling your own shots, bro. It's like Babe Ruth, right? This is what made Babe Ruth great as a baseball player. That motherfucker will point the bat at where he was going to hit the ball. And when he point that bat, like, yeah, I'm about to knock this bitch out of the park right over there. You know what I'm saying? Motherfucker's like, bullshit. You know what I'm saying? Next thing you know, that pitcher throw the hardest shit he ever threw. 100 miles an hour, 99 miles an hour. He will put all of the heat. These pitchers will put all of the heat on the ball that they have. And guess what? Babe Ruth to still knock that motherfucker out where he said it. And that's you. Those are your goals. Those are your plans. Those are your dreams. You knocking these shits out of the park and people mad that they can't do that. And you got to understand, bro, it's not just one or two people that be mad, bro. The world be mad at motherfuckers like you. The world wish they had your type of focus. The world wish they had your type of energy. The world wish they had your type of intellect and focus and grind, bro. But they don't got it. And you know what I'm saying? And then, like I said, bro, it's something that they could get. But most people just don't want to put in the work like you. You know, it's nothing that you could do about it, but you got to keep going. You got to watch out for these snakes, though. You got to keep going, but you got to watch out for these snakes, though, bro. Because these snakes everywhere. And that's what make them so dangerous because they be quiet about it. They be quiet about it, bro. And then they wait till you get close and then they try to get you. So you can't be gotten, bro. You know what I'm saying? You don't, don't even allow it. You know what I'm saying? As soon as you sent some fuck shit, some funny shit, some hating shit, bro, Get out of the way. Go ahead. Let these motherfuckers go on about their business because they're going to try to cling to you. A lot of these motherfuckers try to cling to you, but they weren't trying to cling to you before. But now that they see you got momentum, now that they see you got the juice, now that they see you got the glow, now these motherfuckers want to stick to you like tape. You got to rip these motherfuckers off like leeches. You know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, all they gonna do is just suck you dry. They gonna suck your blood. They gonna suck your energy, bruh. And you can't let that shit happen, man. You are the most hated person on the planet right now. You know why? Because you get shit done. You get shit done. And that's, that's, that's just one thing that most people just can't do these days. They too distracted. They focus is on any and everything, bro. Anything that you just throw out there, these motherfuckers gonna eat it up and they hate it. They hate, they hate the fact that you are not distracted like them. They hate the fact that you are not unfocused like them. They hate the fact that you actually move different. They hate all of it, bro. You know what I'm saying? And them be the motherfuckers that's, that be quick to call us weirdos. We weirdos for being on a journey. We weirdos for working on ourselves. We weirdos for being on semen retention and no fat. We weirdos for focusing on ourselves. We weirdos for putting all of the motherfucking, you know what I'm saying, energy into our purpose, bro. We weirdos for just seeing one thing and that's our way. We weirdos for that. They like this motherfucker, man. I tried to tell him something the other day, and that nigga didn't listen to nothing I said. You damn right I ain't listen to nothing you said, because I got my own plan. And, and guess what? My plan don't involve you. You know what I'm saying? Because you think that you could tell a motherfucker what to do, and they just got to listen to you. What we going to listen to you for, and you ain't accomplished nothing in your life. I've been around you this whole time. You know what I'm saying? You got motherfuckers that you've been around this whole time. Right? Even when, even even in the bad times. But as soon as you try to level up in your life, as soon as you start making moves in your life, as soon as you start putting energy into yourself so you could go somewhere and be somebody in your life, now they got all the information in the world for what you need to do and how to do it. The fuck out my face. Get the fuck out my face. Where was all this shit at when I was drowning? When I was in the darkness, when I couldn't get out, when I couldn't live, when I couldn't breathe, when I couldn't motherfucking get over the old shit that was coming back to haunt me. You didn't have no advice for that shit, though, right? Because you was enjoying that shit. That's why. 
You know what I'm saying? That gave you a reason to just be around and just, you know what I'm saying? That's That gave you a reason to stick around because you was more entertained by my downfall, see? And that's what you got a lot of these days. You got motherfuckers that's just, that's, that's, that's just around because they want to be entertained because they think you gonna fall. But lo and behold, bro, lo and behold, bro, you got the strength of the most high with you. So it ain't no falling. So understand, bro, you public enemy number one. You know, so with that being said, don't just be going around anybody just telling them what you're going to do, bro. You know what I'm saying? You already you already know what type of energy is out there. We've talked about that. You know what I'm saying? So with this thick energy, you know what I'm saying? This negative energy, this shit that consuming people's mind, body and soul around. Listen, keep it to yourself and keep elevating. All right. And that's my word, man. My name Jason and Sante. Holla at y'all later, man. Peace. First, I'ma get on my grind. Then, second, stop wasting my time. On shit less important. If ain't about money, I'm going the other direction. And third, I'ma do what I gotta to eat. Fourth, I'ma sew up the streets. Fifth, I'ma never quit dropping this heat. So, as long as I'm breathing, you better get used to me. Sixth, I'ma get.